but God's love is unchanging. Whether or not I do right. He's already decided the relationship. Y'all like to talk. The boys are our boys regardless. They were born to us. And even when they're, when they're acting out, they're still our boys. Our love does not change. I'm going to love them the same. Torch is going to love them the same. That is not going to change. But if they act funny, they won't feel our love. Not that it's not there. Yes, when I pray, I feel closer to God. Not because he's closer, but because I'm more in tune. Oh, God, help me, y'all. When I worship, it's not that God loves me more and draws ever so close because I worship just because I worship. No, no, no. It's that I'm aware now of who he is. But if you leave that religious spirit in your life, it will keep you on a roller coaster. It will cause you to be in a way where you can't focus on ministry because you never get a chance to be settled with who you are in God. Now, the Ten Commandments, though this is actually going to be next week, the Ten Commandments were given to help a nation begin to function. You can't have a large group of people without some accepted norms. But it became the foundation of a religion where laws just kept exponentially growing to keep people in bondage. God never intended for the Christian to live their lives always scared that everything they did was going to send them to hell. Watch this. The same thing that protected you in one season will provoke you in another. Because after a while, that's why, that's why rules, oh, I didn't mean this to be a pastoral, you know, a family conference. That's why you have rules on your children, even when they're 20, 21, 22, and they live at home. No, you got to put rules on them. Because you need those rules. Early on, the rules were to help them to be protected and, and, and to learn, you know, how your heart is. And, and that ain't what it's for now. It's to irritate you so you hurt and get out my house. Oh, God, I'm preaching. Oh, I'm preaching. Preach, Bishop. Oh, you're home, girl. Preach. No, you got to come in the house at a certain time. I want you mad when you walk in the house. I don't want to say I'm 20 years old. I got to come in the house at 1 o'clock. I'm grown. I'm grown. Because I want you to get so mad that you get your own apartment. What the man said, get your apartment. Even though he rushed out, he didn't wait to hear what God had to say, but God gave them the victory. Read verse 23. Hurry. So the Lord saved Israel that day, and yeah. the battle continued to rage even beyond Beth Avon. Yeah, now watch this, though. Now, now the, we're getting ready to shift. Now the men of Israel were pressed to exhaustion that day because Saul had placed them under an oath, saying, <sighs> Let a curse fall on anyone who eats before evening. Stop. Can I share something with you? Make a note. One of the things that people, religiosity and the law does, it wouldn't wait to hear a word from God, but it made up a rule for everybody to follow. He wouldn't wait to hear what God had to say, but he made up a rule. Oh, okay. That was a second for my old school saints to thank God right there. But watch this. You fought faint and you got to at least celebrate that you kept on fighting even though you didn't have joy like you said you did. I ain't got no, oh Lord. See, a lot of people won't admit this, but I got the mic. They were doing everything they told them. You couldn't do this. You had to wear this over your head. You had to put this on. You couldn't do this where you're standing when you pray. Well, that's what's wrong. Did you say in the name of Jesus? How many times did you say it? Did you say it when, before you started the prayer? And did you include this? And did you do this? Well, did you stand up and say, give an honor to the pastor? And do this so-and-so? And did a so-and-so? And did you do this? And la, 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 la. And as much as they tried to act like they had joy, they didn't. Because all of the rules were wearing them down. But they kept on fighting because they really did love Jesus. I want to thank God for the saints who fought while they were faint. You know, you can't you can't put up enough fences to satisfy folk with a wandering heart. So that night we had a dance, and they were wide open, and she realized she needed that honey. 
something about just dancing and laughing and thinking about that honey lifted her. I'm preaching this word. God, no. Just that, something about just that evening. Some, some about that little vacation. Do you not know sometimes, I'm not talking about sinful stuff. I'm talking about honey. I'm talking about enjoyment of life. I'm talking about realizing you're free. I'm talking about realizing that he that the sun set free is free indeed. I'm, if I can't laugh, who can laugh? Why would a sinner laugh? They're going to hell. I ought to be the one with joy. Touch your neighbor and say, get a little honey. I'm feeling a little bold. Touch your other neighbor and say, get you some, get you some. Included. And it was that, that night that your father said out loud to me, he said, I feel like I found the wife I married. He said, all, watch this now. This is what he was saying. All of these years, I married this joyful, happy lady. And she was funny and creative. And then she got, watch now. This, y'all won't say it, but I'll say it because I got the mic. Then she got saved and got deep and got quiet. And then everything was, she was fighting faint. And I couldn't find no joy in her. And then all of a sudden, we take on the cruise. And next thing, she's up doing Tina Turner. Come on, rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Somebody give him a praise. He said, my march, eyes watery. He said, I feel like I found the wife that I married.